Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For a tarot, an oracle card reading for all Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This will be the theme for today's reading. Brought to you by the Sacred Destiny Oracle Card Deck. You have the card of potential, okay? There's something positive about this potential, that sort of volcanic simmering in the backdrop. All right, let's consult the cards and see what you need to know here, Scorpio. What advice do you have for Scorpio, please? Whoa, you know what just came out? This guy, okay. All right, what else does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? All right, general reading today, and then when we're done with the tarot, we'll have a, an angel answers, angels answers, Oracle card reading. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Page, I'm sorry, the Six of Wands, the Moon, the Queen of Wands, the Chariot. This is looking nice. The Hierophant, very nice. The Emperor, solid, strong. And the Eight of Swords. Well, I don't feel like you have anything to worry about. We had this Ace of Pentacles just come shooting out at us. You have a very solid, robust new beginning. Okay, that's how I get this. We've got four major arcana. We have, this is interesting to me too, because of just the, you know, Pisces come, ends, the, ends the cycle, Aries begins. We have Aries, Pisces, and we do have Taurus. We have Cancer too. But I'll tell you what, because four and five, they're next to each other here. They were in the reverse order, but it doesn't bother me. You have a shift coming in. I heard a cosmic shift. There's something very important on the way here, okay, there's an auspicious new cycle showing up here where information will be revealed. But I also feel like, too, somebody here has got a promotion coming in or even a renaming of your position. It might raise some eyebrows. It might cause a little bit of controversy, but I feel like you've earned it. You're worth it. There's something about this. Now, if you do take a new job, it's going to be an upward move. It's not a lateral move at all. It is making gains. You also, too, with the chariot is a card of travel and moving. So I feel like you have new opportunities that are going to continue to give you more. All right. They're not just the, it's like, this is just the beginning for you. The best is yet to come. So the Ace of Pentacles, too. In terms of love, it is a chapter of something long-lasting. And need we say more, you have a marriage here, all right? So you may have somebody, too, and especially, too, if your attitude is like you try to keep things in perspective of, I'm just doing this right now. I'm just having coffee. This is not a marriage. I can do coffee and not go out with them again. I feel like it's a relationship that's really going to grow. I know that sounds strange, but I feel like there's no fear about it. You're kind of looking at it date by date. Or maybe it's them too. And I feel like it eliminates a lot of fear. Sometimes when people get too far into the future, they ruin it before it begins. You know, these people that they're already looking at it as a marriage and picking the relationship apart and it just doesn't work. I feel like this is a mature relationship. And it's also to somebody who's very spiritually grounded, emotionally, mentally, financially, physically, and spiritually together, okay? And they might not be super religious. They might not be metaphysical at all, but there's something about them that they recognize when their energy is going south. They know how to manage their own life. And I feel like they're just something about them is very attractive. <clears throat> well, I do want to showcase this in terms of work. This is financial. I mean, fi this is financially quite a gift when these two show up together. If you're starting any kind of a business, these would make the best business partners in the deck. Remember how you have the card of potential there? Anything new that you're going after, it's going to be great. Now, there's something else about this too, because queens are, they embrace and embody the personal elements, the personal, they're very personable people when you meet them, when you encounter them. So this is the kind of energy too. If you do something with real estate, you have a real finesse about that in terms of, or sales of some sort where you kind of get to know people a little bit. And that is not a trick. It's There's nothing wrong with that. It's not a manipulation. It's getting to know people. That's part of build, building a business, right? When you go into a business repeatedly and they act like you've never been there, who wants to go back? It's like I go here every day and they still have no idea who I am. That's not personable. 
it's this. So somebody here has a really dynamic energy in terms of just getting to know people, remembering people's names. And I feel like somebody's get, having people say that. You always remember people's names. You're really good with that. You know, it makes people feel valued. It's important, especially in career. It's a cool thing to be doing and it makes people feel connected with you. And that's what life is, right? Is connecting. So the Queen of Pentacles too, if you have any kind of a job where you're working outdoors, I do feel like you have quite a facility for it. Like I'm seeing somebody in a greenhouse where it's like the plants are just the energy. They're connected to you. And I, I mean, personally, I believe we're all connected to nature. And you see certain people where they say they have a green thumb. It's their own energy. It's all connected and related. And so if that's the case for you, boy, are you going to do well in that. But with this Queen of Pentacles, she is a bit of a perfection, perfectionist. So no matter what it is that you're doing, you'll have an eye for detail and you'll want it be, to be done correctly. And there's nothing wrong with that because especially in career, people want that. They want people who have a high standard. Okay, that's what I get. Somebody with high standards. You have it throughout the reading too, by the way. So with the Six of Wands, you're definitely going to be getting accolades and being recognized, being promoted, being supported. It's wonderful energy. When the Six of Wands is in the reading, know that you're charging ahead with confidence, triumphantly. There's, you know, with this, people around you want to see you succeed. They want to see you win. So anything new that you're doing, or even if there's some kind of a shift, like I said, if you get a job title that's sort of renamed or something like that, I do feel like it's going to be great for you. But in terms of love too, it's also having a bit of attention. So if it's a, you know, if, you, if you're meeting someone new and you're dating them already, I do feel like they're very intrigued by you. This is not somebody that's living a double life and they've got a secret dating profile somewhere. They're not pulling that. They're right up there with you. Okay, they know when they find a good thing and they're not trying to mess around with what ifs. Okay, it's like, let's invest in this, shall we, first before we go doing that. Now, I will tell you too, somebody here, I do feel like if you had a breakup, that person still keeps tabs on you. And I especially feel like if you are making a lot of changes and having a lot of growth in your life, they are seeing that. Whether you realize it or not, they're aware of it. Um, I also feel like too, I get somebody like, asking about you. They're asking common connections about you. And I do feel like that's going to get back to you if it hasn't already. Where they And it's in a nice, genuine way. I see nothing wrong with it. I just feel like they're wanting to reconnect. And so they're wanting to try to figure some things out. And, you know, you can let them, right? We can let them do it. Um, there's no reason not to. It's, you know, they'd, they'd like to know more. They'd like to have, like I said, maybe see if there is a second chance. And you might say, no, that door is so closed and bolted shut, never happening. But either way, with the moon energy, more will be revealed. So you get ready. I love the moon because it adds a bit of mystery to life. It's like where we go, whoa, I did not see that coming. But the moon mirrors the sun. So when we say, we say it, we didn't see it coming, it's in a positive way. The moon is one of those cards too, where there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. So for some, you are going to get a promotion out of it where good things are being talked about behind your back. Isn't that refreshing? Where it's not gossip. It's like, you know, we should put Scorpio in this. We should, I could see that being a really good fit, that sort of thing. Now, the moon energy, too, if there are things in your physical life, like in terms of your diet, your nutrition, your exercise, habits that you want to build, the moon will help you do that. Get back down to center. Get rid of some of the fat and the salt and the this and the that that we tend to do and move you forward. So with the queen of wands here, I mentioned before with that queen of pentacles, what a dynamic energy this Queen of Wands, though, too, it may also be somebody you're going to meet. Very passionate energy, very magnetism, okay, physical attraction between the two of you. Very much a loyal character, though. Somebody who is very loyal, they're soft, they're gentle. There's something about these two that I really like together in terms of their 
connection with not only nature, but with like animals and things like that. They've got a really nice, gentle side to them where I feel like this is the kind of person, if they were in the woods, a deer would get really close to them. They'd feel safe around them. So that may be one of the things that you recognize instantly about this person, that they have sort of a unique connection where animals will come near them, rabbits, so forth, chipmunks, you know, all that kind of thing. Those forest friends can tell this person's not going to do anything and their energy is calm. So with the energy of the chariot, this is you moving forward. Now, I mentioned before, it is a card of travel and moving. So if you are planning any kind of a trip, if you're planning a destination wedding, that's here. Okay, so if you are doing something like that, it's all moving forward effortlessly. This is the kind of energy too where you almost can't be stopped. It's total victory, success. It's also to meeting someone who's going to be of help to you. And I got it too up there with that Queen of Pentacles. If it's something to do with even starting a business, it's someone who gives you great advice. So the Hierophant comes in and brings in unity, brings in your heart's desires with the red roses and the white lilies. They're pure. There's something about them that's very much trustworthy and honest energy. And the pillars in the card bring in protection, balance. There is a duality to a situation though that I keep picking up on with somebody from the past. So that both the positive and the negative are, are showing up a little bit in the reading with somebody else that's kind of lurking out there. I think wanting and trying to come forward with the emperor though, I feel like you're going to make, you're going to have very good judgment in the energy or in the situation. The emperor is a card of authority. I mean, he he sees things very in a very reasonable way, but he won't be played. So if you have any concerns about that, I don't see it being a bad thing. I feel like somebody's going to come forward with an apology and it'll be up to you what you want to do with it. There's measurement there with the emperor. He doesn't do anything like just kind of spontaneously. He's very much about control. And so with that eight of swords, it might give you a little bit of pause but I also feel like with this, you're going to be able to walk free of it. If there's a little bit of an emotionally charged energy, I feel like they're saying meditate. Maybe it's you that needs to get out in nature. That might also be why that kept plugging into the reading. This idea of being in nature may help quiet the mind a little bit if needed. Okay. All right. What else does Scorpio need to know, please? What advice do you have for Scorpio? It's up to you. I'm telling you, I feel like this whole reading has kind of been that compromise. So scales of balance coming in. Listen to your intuition. It's always important for us to hear our own intuition and then take action on it. And you've got don't stop. You're on the path, Scorpio. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.